Hey guys, Thrasher here. Today we're talking about transferring your account in Dragon Ball Legends from device to device. What cases will you lose your crystals? What cases will you keep them? How do you transfer? And we're going to talk about a way to get free crystals if you want those as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we should do is talk about how to transfer your account. The easiest way to do it is you click menu and then you go to other and then you go to data transfer settings and there's four options here game center account google account facebook account and twitter i personally use twitter you can use whatever you want you just click on the one that you want to use it will ask you to log into that account it will then link them you're now linked all you have to do is on your new device when you start it up it's going to ask you if you want to transfer or start a new game select transfer and then select the option that you selected here log into that account and boom you're you're transferred that's all you got to do it'll bring all your data over you will not be able to play this on your old device though so keep that in mind um, now once you've transferred there's the question of in which cases will you get to keep these crystals which cases will you lose these the 4800 that I have right now it's very simple so people are like oh well I'm on I'm on this phone if I switch to this phone will I lose my crystals I'm playing on an emulator if I switch to this will I lose my crystals the only case where you lose your crystals and cannot bring them with you is if you change your overall operating system so I'm on an iPhone right now if I were to go to anything other than iOS I would lose my crystals so I'm on an iPhone if I were to switch to an Android phone I'd lose my crystals because I'd be going from iOS to Android if you're on an Android phone you can switch to any other Android device can be a tablet can be a phone can be an Android emulator on computer any thing that runs the same operating system you will not lose your crystal so if you have the case like I did where I started back before the iOS version was out so I had to play on an Android emulator and then when I went to switch to iOS I knew I was gonna lose those crystals so I used all my crystals and summons right before I switched to um, iOS now the other thing to mention here is that you don't lose unclaimed crystals so let's assume that you go to missions and you had um, as soon as this wants to load you go over to Z mission let's say I've already logged in for 60 days and it says I can claim these 20 crystals and my 10 tickets here if I don't click claim and I just leave this here I can transfer and then I can claim it after I've transferred so you don't have to if you have crystals sitting in your missions just don't claim them until after you transfer and the other situation is if I go back to the main screen you have these presents up top um, sometimes there will be gifts up here so if I go to my receipt history it shows all these gifts if you have gifts that are unclaimed don't claim them until after you transfer and that way you won't lose those or have to use them before the transfer um, so the last thing we should probably talk about is a way that I get crystals um, and also in Dokken battle I get stones without spending any money so I have spent money in Dokken battle um, I have never spent a dime on um, Dragon Ball Legends. That's not saying that I never will. Um, I just haven't yet. I haven't had a need to. Uh, the cases where I do want some extra crystals, I use an app called App Bounty. So let me back out real quick and show you what that looks like. That's this thing in the bottom left here. So let's click on that. Um, the way this works is you create an account. Um, why is it doing that? You create an account. Uh, you go over to offers and there's a bunch of different offers that give you points most of these it's literally just download the app install it um, go back to app bounty and it gives you points some of them you have to spend money so you can skip those don't do those at all other ones you have to um, download it install it and then run it and do something so there's lots of games in here where it says um, look, here's a good example right here um, install and open and then complete level 18 and then you get 875 points now if you do that 875 points is a pretty reasonable amount of uh, points so let's go over to the rewards and look at what you get um, and I will be posting a, a link to this in the bottom uh, my uh, I guess you could call it like an affiliate link if you use my link you'll get 50 points just straight up for using my link and, and signing up through that you don't have to use mine um, and full disclosure it does give me some points too when you sign up so um, whether or not you want to do that uh, I just want to show you here you can get um, iTunes gift cards five dollars ten dollars um, so I actually have enough to grab another iTunes gift card right now if I wanted to which works for all iOS app store purchases 
So there's multiple different card options in here. There's the iTunes uh, cards that you can get. There's Amazon gift cards, um, Steam. I think there's ones for Xbox and PlayStation. So there's lots of different options in here. Um, I have only used the iTunes myself, but it's really simple. You just click the redeem button right there. I'm not gonna click it because I'm, I'm not ready to redeem it right this second. You click the redeem button. You have to put in like one piece of information and then they send you the gift card and you're good to go. And that's, that's pretty much uh, all there is to it. If you guys have any questions about about transferring your account or about app bounty um, feel free to throw them in the comments I wouldn't say I'm an expert on app bounty I just use it from time to time um, but I'll answer anything that I can answer if you guys like this content make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video